Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Wednesday the 17th of June 2020. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Lightseer's Tarot by Chris Ann. Okay, friends, um, no affirmation today. I will just be happy if I can get the readings done at the moment. Um, of course, our friend Mercury <laughs> uh, is going retrograde and will be retrograde until um, the 12th of July. Um, so be prepared, my friends, for things to go a little wrong. Okay, let's see. What wonderful message Spirit has for us for today. Okay, here we go. Thank you. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? For Wednesday... Thank you. Oh, there we go. The cards are out. And they are the Six of Wands <laughs> back again in the same position as uh, yesterday in the Good Tarot. It was the Six of Fire. Wow, followed by the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. We keep getting these nines, my friends. It truly is the end of a cycle, um, an age even. Oh, wow. OK. Your first card is the Six of Wands. Six, Balance, Harmony unity equal proportion this is also uh, achievement uh, and i'm really feeling the sense of, of this um, but in this illustration uh, the light is shining on you um, again i'm really getting the sense of um, you being the way shower um, showing others um, by example, I am hearing this is the victory, uh, um, the victory being you finding that place of balance um, within yourself. You've worked hard on, on both sides of yourself. Um, and on, as I really keep picking up this middle way um, that you are finding yourself in now. Um, and I'm really feeling the victory, the achievement, um, you leading by example. Uh, again, I'm picking up on um, uh, way showers being, um, you know, yeah, leading by example, showing the way. Um, and I'm looking at this card where we have this wonderful orange background. So I'm really feeling the joy uh, and the happiness that is coming um, from this energy that you are now finding yourself in this wonderful place of balance. That there is this sense of things being in equal proportion. Again, I'm getting that um, firm but fair kind of energy. Um, Wow, wow, wow. I really want to say, friends, it's well done, you. Amazing. <laughs> you are doing amazing. Wow. Next, you have the nine of pentacles. So the first of two nines. Nine is the number of completion. It's... <sighs> reaching um, that ideal it's um, having your dreams coming true um, and it's leadership so <laughs> again friends you really are stepping into the spotlight um, you're not afraid of the spotlight um, and you're not afraid to show your light I am hearing wow not afraid to show your light so this nine of pentacles, pentacles, it's earth, it's grounding. Um, this is um, 
I'm really feeling where you will be finding yourself, um, perhaps in the very near future. Um, you've made these wonderful changes within your life um, and I feel that you are on the way to reaching your personal ideal. Um, this is sometimes we call the card of, of, of status. Um, but these pentacles here, um, and she's got all these herbs drying in the background. Um, so I really feel that the pentacles are coming from um, your personal um, work. Um, something that you have been doing, working on diligently, I am hearing. Um, whatever this is, it's it's paying off, I am hearing. Um, and I'm really drawn to the, the, this white uh, dress that the lady is wearing and I'm hearing the word simplicity. Um, I really feel that life's going to get more simple for you, uh, easier for you. Um, I'm really feeling that you are uh, forging this path way forward uh, towards this wonderful new beginning. Uh, I'm looking at the green or um, in the background. Um, green is balance, it's growth, it is harmony, it's success and I, I'm, it's all coming friends, honestly it is all coming. Okay next you get the nine of cups so your second of number nine, love this image and I, I just always think of uh, that one particular photo of or picture of Ruby um, where she's coming towards you and all four feet are off the floor. Um, I'm just a real joyful energy here around these cards. Uh, I'm really sensing and getting a feel of joy and, and happiness and freedom and liberation. And I feel that you have freed yourselves and life is, is more simple because you are, <laughs> I don't want to say you're simple, but, you know, you are um, acting uh, and, and coming from a more simplistic point of view. Thank you, spirit. Um, and so with the nine of cups, this is real fulfillment. Again, this is more reaching ideal, having your dreams come true. All of your cups are full. You have this wonderful uh, chest here full of treasure. Um, again, I get this sense, for, uh, friends, that um, all the abundance and prosperity that you desire, and of course, it's all different levels for different people for different people um, but I feel that the doorway has opened uh, you were invited through you followed you did the work you put all the work in this is a real sense of achievement here on the table <laughs> celebrate today my friends truly truly celebrate for you have made huge changes in your life that before was you were finding really, really difficult. And now, um, there's a, and of course, this lady's wearing white also on the, on the top. Um, and so I'm really drawn to the word simplicity. Uh, life is simpler, easier. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Just the message we needed. OK, here's our deck from our kindred spirit, Jen. Thank you, Jen. Uh, the Starseed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. Oh, and I'll just share with you, actually, I didn't share with this yesterday, but inside the box where it just says, look, your heart is a portal. <laughs> know it, my friends, know it. This is the portal that you have gone through because I keep saying that you are leading from the heart. It's the big changes that you have made. That's the success. That's the victory and the achievement. Oh, feeling joyful. Feeling joyful with a, a spring in your step and oh, enthusiasm. Loving life. Loving life. Wow. It doesn't get any better. OK, here we go. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? For Wednesday, 
the 17th, thank you. I will remember to lower the camera. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, and your Starseed Oracle card is Weight of the World, Boundaries, Let It Go, It's Not Yours to Carry. Oh, life is about to get simpler. It's all about this letting go, releasing, overcoming. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wonderful. OK, let me just find the. There we go. You don't need to carry it all. You're no good to anyone if you're running on empty and bogged down by the weight of the world. This card is a reminder to look after your own well-being before anyone else's, to stop carrying the world's problems on your shoulders, to put on your own oxygen mask first. In these changing times, it's hard not to feel overwhelmed by the state of the planet. However, you can't take on its problems from a place of energetic depletion. This card is thanking you for caring so much. You want to build a better world and ease the road for others. Wow! And that's incredible. But the way you've been doing so is likely unsustainable. This isn't to say you should switch off to the world's problems and become unconscious. Rather, it's a call to establish clear boundaries so you're not constantly taken out energetically. The plan planet needs you to be healthy, both physically and emotionally. So, instead of digesting the news or reaching for your phone as soon as you wake up, show up first to a nourishing practice such as meditation, soul inquiry, deep breathing or exercising in nature. Once you are in a state of grace and your inner well is full, you can face the day, the state of the world and care for others and at the day's end take an energetic shower by emptying out anything that's not yours to carry. You can pick it up again the next morning, if you so choose, but give yourself time and space to rejuvenate and rest. Your starseed soul inquiry is what are you carrying that isn't even yours? Oh, this is a wonderfully inspirational message, my friend. And this card just giving you more uh, ways to stay uh, in this balance um, and not get pulled down by the weight of the world. And yes, things are definitely going on around us at the moment. So uh, real good advice there from Spirit. Wow. OK, well, next we will have our mystical shaman oracle deck that was um, gifted to us from our friend Leticia um, and this is a, a collaboration of Colette Baron Reed. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> what is the message? From spirit for my wonderful friends. Thank you. Okay, your mystical shame and oracle is Ooh, <laughs> fire number 19, one and nine adding up to ten. Uh, culmination, the ultimate reaching the peak. Uh, it's all there, my friends. There's fulfillment here on the table, dreams coming true. Oh, wow. Also, 10 endings and beginnings. You can keep this going, I'm being told. Um, you can definitely keep this energy going. Um, and it's about making life simpler, uh, letting go of the weight of the world. Ooh. <laughs> wow. OK, well, let's see what the message is from fire. <clears throat> The essence, fire consumes anything that it touches. The flames remind us of the impermanent, impermanent nature of reality and how situations can quickly transform into beauty or chaos. Fire is passion and its dancing flames invite us to reach to the sky. Warmth and light are heavenly, yet too much heat can scorch us. To fully step into the energy of fire is to be utterly transformed, like the phoenix rising from the ashes. 
Warm your hands and your heart by your inner fire. Let it burn away your hardships. Let it consume your pain and your sorrow. Has life become too rigid, too cold or too superficial? Light a candle or make a bonfire and toss into the flames everything that has become stiff and painful. Give it all to the fire for rapid transformation. Set your life on fire. The medicine. Are you feeling too fiery? Have you become reactive and short-tempered towards others? This card has come to tell you that all fiery emotions directed at others can backfire at you. It's not a good idea to play with fire when you are out of balance or angry. Now is not the time to act or react. It's time to tame and befriend your inner fire so it does not scorch you. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So, another lesson in how to stay in this wonderful place of balance. <laughs> Harmony. Oh, wow. Okay. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now. The kind red spirit. Here we go. What is the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit, for my wonderful friends? For Wednesday, the 17th of June, 2020. What do my friends need to know, Ruby? Whoop! Okay. <laughs> Bear with me, my friends. I will have to retrieve that one. And I don't know what it is because it fell face down okay so your card from ruby the kind red spirit is yes thank you ruby she's just confirming all of these cards here my friend if you can follow the advice of these two oracles celebration is yours wow 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 uh, celebration a positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success and enjoy your achievements. Uh, you've been working with moon cycles. You are understanding about cycles and patterns. You have said goodbye to the old you. This is a brand spanking new you. You are following this wonderful advice. You have made your life easier and more simplistic. You are more balanced, more harmonious now. Wow, wow, wow. That is real, real celebration, my friends. OK, well, let's see just what Ruby has to say. And Ruby says it's time to celebrate. Your efforts have paid off and good things are on the way to you. This joyful winged unicorn invites you to celebrate even before you see any tangible signs of success. Think Feel and act as if most wondrous blessings have already been showered upon you. How does it look and feel when you really truly believe in the inevitability of your success? Dance around your house with delight. Let tears of gratitude stream down your cheeks. Celebrate with passion and joy. The higher you take your vibration and emotions now, the faster your desires will be delivered. Once they t do take physical form, be sure to celebrate and appreciate them fully. Honour yourself as a powerful creator and a masterful receiver and give thanks to the universe. Continue to expand your desires and allow even more good to flow your way. Ride on the waves of your celebration and let your joy activate even more positive outcomes. This is a blessed time for you, filled with with the energy of success. Oh, hope you got that message, my friends. Success, it's inevitable. It's on its way. Um, I, I knew it. I sensed it. I feel it. Uh, you are just being encouraged to follow the advice of these two oracles. And celebration is assured. Success is assured. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, 
thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined an outstanding family of kindred spirits. Thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them and I promise I will shortly get to answering everyone. But I do read them. I promise you that much. <laughs> but thank you anyway, my friends. And as I say, do keep them coming. And so, my wonderful friends, may favour be with you all as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until tomorrow, my friends, goodbye.